I was in touch with the Rhubarb Museum in Yorkshire. They knew the history of, the, of, this, uh, of this rhubarb and they were quite surprised when I mentioned the name. They said as far as they were concerned that this rhubarb had died out many, many years ago. They couldn't believe that I still had some. It was very, very special because it's the earliest recognised variety in England today is Timberly Early. And this variety is six weeks earlier than Timberly Early. It used to start pick pulling it commercially in the field on Valentine's Day. So it was very, very special indeed, especially when you could take it down to your local shop and get a damn good lot of money for it. There was a greengrocer here in Penryn who was knocking on in years, not a young man anymore, in, anymore. He thought he was older than myself, and he reckoned that the variety was called Dawes Champagne. Daw and Dawes is a Cornish name. The, the rhubarb during the war was grown by Mr. Clements. He was a farmer, a market gardener on the ne next door small holding. And he was, he had this from way before the, before the war. It was very highly lucrative and he would never, never, never sell a crown to anyone because it was so, such an unusual rhubarb. Perhaps you couldn't blame him for not wanting to, to share his fortune, I don't know, being a typical Cornishman. But 1955, I think, his, his small holding was requisitioned for council houses. So he had to leave. Then uh, he had all the rhubarb dug up, put in a pile, and he burnt it. But he literally supervised the burning of that rhubarb, like being cremated. He burnt every single, single crown. But unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever the case may be, one of his workmen accidentally put some crowns in his bag <laughs> and uh, someone else acquired it. But, uh, otherwise, this, crop, this, this variety would have been long since extinct. He was the last owner, known owner of this variety. When we managed to buy this place, we took it and it's been grown from there. We've looked after it ever since. It builds up very quickly if you look after it. And we sold many, many crowns. In, we, we advertised in the Grower magazine and um, we sold many thousands of crowns. It was all over, all over the country. Well, I suppose it's, uh, uh, I suppose it's, uh, it's nice to think I've done something useful. Um, it's not the first useful thing I've done. But I've done one or two. Uh, I've done one or two other useful things, but we won't bother talking about that. But um, no, it's uh, yes. I, I'm, I'm quite proud, really, to think we managed to save it. It's been it's been a good a good crop, the best crop we ever grew for sure. Absolutely, absolutely.